Yo, what's going on guys? I'm Jay Carter Ray and in this video I'm going to be bringing you guys another online fight in UFC 2 and obviously trying to teach you guys some stuff in the process just letting you guys know what goes through my mind while I play um, just sharing little tips and stuff uh, okay we're in in heavyweight again last time I was deep in the old church I do, you know, I like Cain Velasquez actually. Cain Velasquez is quite fun to play as. I've only played as him like three or four times, maybe five, definitely not over ten. Because I don't play heavyweights because I really don't like them. And now the sun is in my eye, like it just rose to be in my eyes right now while I'm recording. So that's another excuse if I lose. So just letting you guys know in advance, you know, when I get knocked out, I'm like, oh, the sun was in my eyes, you know, them ones. Nah, I'm only joking. <clears throat> so this should be fun. This should be fun. Like, I really don't like playing with heavyweights. So this should be interesting to see if I can come out on top. Um, I'm going to try and play smart, try and stay away from my opponent. Oh shit, I didn't even check who has the reach advantage. That's bad. I think Cain Velasquez has an alright reach though, it's not terrible. Yeah, respect man. I'm just standing there, yeah? Like, he's waiting for me, he's trying to counter punch. Um, you're not going to counter punch me bro. Cain just seems so much smaller. How you like that bitch? Oh, okay, so King's got um, a knee. Alright, uh, that's not good. I'm sure you got a kick, King. Yeah, you do have a kick. Yeah, he's not protecting his body at all. Is he even protecting himself? Yeah, he is protecting his head. But not his body. He's really not protecting his body. Like, not even now. Alright, that was too much. I shouldn't have flanked all those things. And I should have kept block up for that head kick. But, we got to make him miss, man. He's just... Throw okay, now he's throwing more. Nice. He's being very conservative. So, we got to get him to fight. Are you like that, bitch? Oh, we didn't get that kick. Really wanted that. Ooh, that was way too much. I feel like two uppercuts. We really got to make him miss. Like we got to make him try and throw those things. Nice. So we got to get in, get out. But he's getting two punches while we're in there. So we got to punch him up, stop him from getting his punches. Like punch him before he punches us, which is nice. We got him. <laughs> now he's just flinging loads. Now it's time to attack. We can, uh, now he's got his stamina back up. But his stamina's gonna be low soon. Uh, he blocked those, nice. <coughs> he's really not cornering us or really pushing us into a corner or anything though. So we're quite cool. Just need to stay at a distance. Let him fling stuff that we can stop him from getting. Like every time he comes close, he starts backing up after he gets the first couple punches. Which is, you know, good. Because he's not trying to stay in there and fight back. But that just means I have to throw less punches. Because he keeps on moving back and making me miss. Right, look at his stamina. Oh, I tried to lean back, but I wasn't, he didn't lean back enough. That's good. We get him, throw, get him to throw another uppercut and we'd be cool. Mm, he's not throwing them. He's throwing loads of jabs, though. Really ill-advised jabs. Once you miss the first one, you generally shouldn't be flinging another one. Oh, that was lucky. I think that head kick actually got me because I let down my block. I think we won that round. Yeah, we did. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. We came out on top of that round. And we just need to keep him working. Keep him trying to get us. Uh, keep him scared of us. That That is what we need. We need him to be afraid when he comes close. So when he comes close, we got to put that work on him. Make sure he gets like a nice hit reaction and whatnot. So he backs up. 
stays backing up, stays throwing punches out of his range. And yeah, we should be able to pick up this win quite nicely. Really, I think I could have got him in the first round. To be honest. But we're not going for that. We're not going for that. Because that's, that's a risky way to play. Like, to try and take someone out in the first round, very risky. Alright, yeah, he's going punch, punch, then body. And if he's too far away, he's going to try and throw the bodies. Let's just make him miss all these uppercuts, these head kicks. Get some, you know, jabs. Some, uh... Nice hooks. We're not throwing no uppercuts right about now. No advanced strikes. We're just allowing him to use his stamina. Look at him. Just kicking all the, all that far away, you know. Well, he did throw an uppercut there. That was, that was ill-advised. We've got to get some leg kicks in. The thing about leg kicks is they do leave you open to a punch. Like, if, you, if you're in your opponent's punching... Um, what's the word? Punching range, he can get you. Like you really gotta fling them leg kicks at the right time. You can't just. Alright, we should have went for the body kick. That's what we should have went for. Look at his stamina. Like his stamina is really low. Alright, let's allow him to fight some more. Let him get his stamina a little lower. So he's got even less of options when he throws his combos. Because look at him just. He's just punching, hoping that eventually one of the punches will get me. He is doing some body stuff to try and, you know, get my body. But he's doing it so far out and he's not hes not really pushing me up against the cage. There's no pressure. No pressure whatsoever. I don't feel any pressure. Like, I'm the one putting the pressure on him. Look at how hurt he is. Like, I, can, I feel like I can do whatever I want at this moment. I should have dodged that punch instead of trying to, you know, combat it. But every time he goes for a kick, I'm going to get him with a leg kick. I missed that one. Yeah, that's what happens. Come on, man. It's over. It's over. <laughs> you done this to yourself, bro. <laughs> Not watching the stamina, man. Not watching the stamina at all. <laughs> he got taken out. <laughs> Bro, always watch your stamina. That is how you manage your stamina and take out your opponent, man. Always manage your stamina. Your stamina is the most important thing in the game. Like, make sure your stamina is always in tip-top shape. And always look at your opponent's stamina and try and make him miss shots and punch his body so you can get him hurt because a lot of people just block their head and like they don't block their body so I like to get them with some leg kicks um, you know some body punches so that they start blocking their body and then go for the head and then they'll start blocking their head and they'll stay with this they usually stay blocking the head longer than they do with the body and then you can get them in the body again and just I you generally focus on the body and go to the head when they start blocking their body um, but yeah be sure to like this video if you liked it, guys. Also, be sure to subscribe as I'll be putting out loads more UFC 2 videos. And, yeah, if you want to check out the rest of my UFC 2 videos, you can click on the playlist on the screen for more of those. And also, be sure to leave a comment down below. Let me know what fighter you want me to play as next, and I'll try and get around to him. And, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.